Hello, Lower Elementary. So today we're going to have a more further in-depth lesson on the Earth, the formation of the Earth, what's inside the Earth, what's on the outside of the Earth. We're going to talk a little bit more about that and look at some science experiments that you can do at home. There's a Padlet that will go with your work, and I'm sorry for all kinds of background noise, and you might hear this kind of like weird ticking noise. That's my fan that's off balance, so my apologies for strange noises. Um, so we're going to read part of part of Planet Earth Inside Out by Gail Gibbons. So we know Earth is the third planet from the sun. It is the third planet from the sun. It is the only planet we know of that has just the right environment for plants and animals to live on. Scientists believe planet Earth was formed about 4.6 billion years ago. They think this happened when a cloud of gases and dust was pulled together by a force called gravity. As the clouds spun around, small particles began sticking together. Slowly, planet Earth became denser, denser and bigger. The heaviest materials like iron and nickel sank to the center. So the gravity is that invisible pull that makes objects attract to other objects. At first, Earth was very, very hot. As it cooled down, it became hard on the outside. Steam rose from the planet's surface and fell back as rain. Over a long period of time, most of Earth became covered with the oceans. So for a period of time, they actually think it rained for millions and millions of years. And that also, that furthered the cooling process down. But I wanted to show you something, and you can do this at home. It's very simple, but you will need an adult because it does require heating. So I've just taken some milk and I put it in the saucepan here. And before I started this lesson with, lesson with you, I got it really hot, almost to the point of boiling. And it's been cooling down as, as we've been sitting here. So I'm gonna hold this, sorry. Earth, when the earth was super, super hot and started to cool down and formed the crust on the outside. Well, it cooled and shrank in those ridges, those formed and those became our mountains and hills and valleys. The, those ridges became the terrain of our earth. So pretty cool, huh? The surface that remained above water became land. Some scientists think that at one time on Earth, there was a single massive piece of land, which they called Pangaea. Sorry. These scientists believe that about 250 million years ago, Pangaea slowly split apart into seven smaller land masses. Between them, the oceans created their own shapes. Viewed from space, Earth looks blue. Sunlight shining on the water that covers much of the planet gives Earth its blue color. Also, it looks perfectly round, but it isn't. Instead, it is slightly flat at its north and south poles and bulges a little at its middle, which is called the equator. 
The equator measures 24,912 miles around. It would take 25 million people holding hands to circle it. Earth is very big. Almost three fourths of Earth's surface is covered by four oceans. The seven land masses are called continents. So here's that imaginary line, the equator. And so when we talked the other day about the, the equinox and how the sun is shining on the northern and southern hemisphere, that's what this is talking about. Hema means half and sphere is our, our 3D circle. And so the northern part is this top half of the world and the southern hemisphere is the bottom half. And here are our continents. Planet Earth looks different on the inside. It has four layers. The distance to its center from the planet's surface is about 4,000 miles. So if we were to drill from, the, from where we are, from the, um, you know, just standing and go straight down 4,000 miles, that's how far it would take to get to the center. At its center is the inner core. Scientists believe the inner core is a hot ball of solid iron and nickel about 1,500 miles across, with temperatures reaching 11,000 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about 50 times as hot as boiling water. So you think boiling water is hot, we can't even imagine 50 times hotter than that. That's the center of our Earth. It is thought that the inner core is solid because of the huge weight of the rest of the Earth pressing all around it. So all that pressure, they think it, it's caused it to be solid. So this solid, hot, hot, hot ball at the center of the Earth. Outside the inner core is the outer core. The outer core is about 1,300 miles thick. So that thickness there. That's about how far it is from New York City to Miami. Scientists believe that the outer core is made up of very hot liquid iron and nickel. At its deepest level, it can get to be about 9,000 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's still pretty dang hot. The outer core moves around the inner core very slowly, making electricity that creates the Earth's magnetic field. So the Earth itself is like a big magnet, attracting, pulling us, down to the earth. That's why if you ever go skydiving or climb a tree and you fall, that magnetic field is pulling you to the earth. Imagine the magnetic field as a huge bar-shaped magnet inside, earth's, inside earth. Its poles lie near the earth's geographic poles. The magnetic field is what causes a compass needle to point north. If you've ever seen a compass, it'll always point due north. Around the outer core is the mantle. It is about 1,800 miles thick and can be as hot as 7,500 degrees Fahrenheit. Most of the mantle surrounding the outer core is solid, but some of the outer mantle is made up of partially molten or melted rock that moves slowly like molasses. Outside the mantle is Earth's crust. It is very thin compared to the other layers. Earth's crust is made up of rock and soil. If Earth were the size of a peach, its crust would be about as thin as a peach's skin. So the crust is really relatively thin compared to the rest of the thickness of the Earth. So there's a lot more we can get into. There's so much about the Earth. And I think I'm going to pause there for now to show you our experiment. So we were talking about those layers of the earth and I did a partial one when we did our first great lesson and we talked about, you know, the nature of things, those laws of the universe, that gravity, it's pulling things down and the heavier things, um, you know, that which is more dense is going to, is going to sink. So that iron and that nickel is the heaviest and that's why it's, it's right there in the center. So I've got all kinds of different liquids here. And then I even have a few solids to kind of see um, because we, in the last few weeks, um, 
we've been doing all kinds of stuff. We did our sink or float activity and we were trying to see, well, you know what things sink or float in water? Well, we're going to be putting all kinds of stuff into this glass here. So I've just got some plain old water and I'm going to start there. So we got some water. And I have some apple cider vinegar. I just kind of looked around to see what I had um, liquid wise around my house. Um, so yours might be a little different. Oh, and if you notice what happened, there's no layers. So that there was a mixture. Okay, let's do honey. So I'm gonna put some honey. And we notice the honey, it's going right to the bottom, right? Maybe I'll put a little bit more in there. And there's, I think there's a bit of a, there we can see it better. Let's do some oil. Oil of oil. And we notice that the oil goes to the top. I want to try some milk. Oh. <laughs> the milk mixed. It's kind of, it's separating a little bit. You can maybe see it here. So our oil is still the, the, at the top. And if you can see here, ew, yeah, the milk's kind of starting to gather there on the bottom. And we've got our water, water, apple cider vinegar mixture kind of hanging on there. I'm gonna put some dish soap. Ew. It's looking really tasty. No, just kidding. So we're seeing things mixed together, but we're noticing like, how things are also kind of separating and settling as well. Let's see, oh, I've, I have some, I had some balsamic vinegar. Some people use this in dressings and things like that. And that, thought for a second it was gonna go right underneath the oil. But it did not, let's see, where did that settle? It's kind of here in the middle with all that other stuff. The oil's still staying at the top. We've kind of got some bubbles there too. Last one, some syrup. I'm not gonna put too much in here because this is good stuff. And it should be settling. It'll be kind of hard to see, but the, so the maple syrup is gonna, it's, it's kind of still mixing with this other stuff, but it, it's gonna be settling. The honey is actually the heaviest, so the honey is gonna settle at the bottom and the maple syrup should be right on top of it, but things are kind of mixing together. Now I wanted to see, oh, I sure don't have a paper clip. So let's say, so I've got a little rock here. Can't see it, but it didn't go to the bottom. Maybe I shouldn't have, maybe I should have left the milk out. I think the milk is kind of making things hard for you to see. Darn it. So it's actually, it's right around in here is where it's settled. So it's not all the way to the bottom. So the rock actually isn't like heavier than the honey, but of course it, it went through the layers, the oil and, and water layers. Well, let's see about a little cherry tomato here. Oh. You can see it. 
there it is. There's our tomato. It's kind of just floating along above the honey and the syrup. And then I've got a cap here, like just a cap for, and that's right at the top. It floats on all of that. So just like our layers, the same kind of things, what our earth is composed of, these elements um, show that the, the heavier things sink, lighter things are at the top. So I'll put the instructions in the Padlet and you can try that. And then of course you can also try the heating of the milk and watching it cool and seeing that skin form on top. Um, I'll include in there the layers of the earth. If you want to make a book on the layers of the earth, another option is, is this is something I've done with um, other classes. I didn't get any clay. You have Play-Doh um, that you made this week for your planet. If you have some Play-Doh left over, or you want to make some more. And if you have some food coloring or paint or something, you can make your layers in different colors and form and form a ball and then put your layers over it like an onion. And when you cut it open, you'll be able to see the layers. So, um, yeah, so all kinds of different ideas. And I'll put some pages from the book in there. And enjoy, have some fun. We'll see you guys next time for, we'll be talking a little bit. Next week, we're gonna do volcanoes. And then we may circle back and do some um, talk about the crust, how we have these tectonic plates. And I won't get too much into that now, but we may circle back for that. But I want us to get to volcanoes next week because I know you guys have been waiting. So um, we'll see you later.